Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Jack Graham, realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today the 2307 floor plan built by Century Community up in Sky Mesa in the northwest side of Las Vegas Valley. To be specific, we are, as I mentioned, you know, in the Sky, in the Sky Canyon master plan community. We have an HOA over here of about $133 per month. Uh, beautiful home right here. This is a quick move in. I'm going to show you that is, uh, let's say that, well, the base price of this house is $527,000. However, we do have a lot of upgrades in here. We have a beautiful side yard, mountain views from the back, uh, yard, and then a beautiful upgraded elevation with the stack stone on this side. Uh, 14 foot ceiling at the foyer here entrance. And then you have the stack, uh, tile here on, uh, uh right in front of the garage. One air conditioning unit has a dual zone uh, system. One for your, actually uh, three zones. And I, and I say that. Um, this house has a starting price of $527,000. Now, uh, $527,000, that is just the beginning, you know, the base price. However, this is a spec car. So the price of this house, uh, it's probably gonna vary depending on how, uh, you know, motivated the builder is to get rid of this house. So we have uh, two bedrooms over here to the left with the bathroom in between. Beautiful den, open floor plan. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Look at that. I love this luxury vinyl plank that they put into this house. Extended cabinets all the way under there to have more of the cafe area. Then you have the Kolkata Quartz, waterfall finish, beautiful, nice, wide and open. Now here you have to kind of imagine, you know, the furniture where it's gonna go. You have the entertainment center area is gonna go right there. Then you have your, you know, couches over on this side, dining room in between, or you can just keep it open and put your dining room over here to the left or make this an office. So many, many options. And then in the back over there, we have the owner suite. Anyway, let's start from uh, the beginning of the house we have. Uh, start from the entrance. We have a 36 inch wide door, which is nice, a little bit wider and eight foot tall. But look at when you, when you walk in here. Beautiful 14 foot ceiling in your, in your foyer. Perfect spot right here to put in a chandelier if you want to, but uh, they don't have that option selected in this floor plan. Over to the left, we have our two bedrooms. As you walk in here, we have a 10 by 11, maybe a little bit bigger. But very, very good sized bedroom here. We have 10 foot ceilings, by the way, throughout the house in this floor plan. Ceiling fan pre wired for the bedroom. That's always nice to have. Gosh, these doors. Yeah, eight foot doors. Beautiful. They selected six panel doors, by the way, as you can see throughout the house. That is an upgrade. Also, the carpet here is an upgraded carpet. The included one does not look like this one. They upgraded also all the hardware. They put a lot of money into this house, whoever was selecting it. Then for some reason, they didn't go through with it. Uh, you know, the buyers of this house and it ended up, ended up being that they came back on the market. That's why now it's a good time, you know, for whoever wants this house to go ahead and purchase it. As the builders are usually more how do you say, prone to negotiate when it comes to a quick move in like this one that it's on the books and they have to get rid of it, especially in this market. We have a white shaker cabinets, black wood faucets right there, and then you have that medicine cabinet. It's missing still a mirror. I'm guessing they're still waiting for that one. You got that uh, black fixture as well, also for the lights. Second bedroom is approximately the same size as the first one. It's about a 10 by 11, maybe even bigger, yeah, 10 by 12, I would say, is this bedroom, just like the other one. Still if I'm pre wire as well. We have a plain white on your walls, which is nice. It gives you a, you know, some people really like the white in the first place. Very spacious closets as well. But it gives you a plain, you know, canvas where you can just go in paint with whatever color you want. Love this floor. Look at that. Luxury vinyl plank. Really good deal here, this one on the market. Now, I don't know how low we can get the builder with this one because the, the house is back, not back on the market officially. It is, uh, it is just, you know, it just fell out of escrow this one, but they haven't signed a cancellation yet. But my guess, 
It could be under 600 for this one. Although, I don't know, maybe not. Not sure. I would say this house probably everything after all the upgrades and everything out the door price this one regular price is probably going to be around 650 maybe 660 however they do you know because it's a quick move in you might get a good discount on this one look at that backyard is kind of small on this side but you have a side yard over here as well and then from this side you have a nice view of the mountains in the back but look at the upgrades they put into this kitchen. We have uh, the cabinets are not full overlay, but still shaker cabinets and they upgraded them. They brought all these cabinets all the way to the ceiling with a nice uh, six inch crown molding uh, around, you know, the top over there. Then plenty of recess lights. Was, they pretty much decked it all out. We have four recess lights in the living room with the ceiling fan pre-wire. Or here we have these two with the chandelier pre-wire for your dining room. And then obviously you have your pendant lights right here, right on top of the countertops. And another six lights in here. Beautiful. The appliances, this is the included appliance package. It is a Whirlpool built-in cooktop right there with the five burners, uh, canopy hood. And then right here we have that Whirlpool built-in oven with the microwave on top. This community does offer a lot of options included. Now, the great part about this one, they put a Kolkata Jubilee in this uh, home. And check this out. What they did on this one is they went over the flooring. So you don't need that quarter round to pretty much finish off this waterfall finish. And I do love that they did that. Okay. Beautiful. Now, Kolkata Jewelry is also pretty much everywhere where the cabinets are. So no backsplash, a beautiful look. look at this was a quick move in, so you could close as soon as two weeks from now, probably. If you're cash, if you have a loan, probably looking at three weeks to a month. And then this is also, you see, you don't see the side of the refrigerator from here because you have that finished cabinet right there. So it has its own casing here. Just push in the refrigerator. Really nice. Loving this kitchen, loving the colors they picked. So sad that some people are not able to qualify for the homes anymore because of the super high interest rates. We're looking at right now, as we're recording this video, I was looking at the interest rates this morning. It was 7.3% on average, a 30 year fixed loan for anybody buying for a house, which historically it's not high, but you know, for what we've been used to the last, in the last 10, 15 years, it is pretty high. We have a two car garage. As I mentioned, 2,300 square feet. Now this car garage has also a little bit of a uh, small area right here where you can store some things. Oh, this house also comes with a water softener included. Oh, this is a whole house water system. No, no, water softener, all right. Okay, for some reason I thought it was. There it is, this is where your salt goes. One thing is uh, the difference between whole, ha whole house water filtration system and a water softener is, water softener actually removes with the filtration that it has, removes all the minerals in it versus the whole house water system usually just removes the chlorine. So you still have those stains on your glass doors, you know, in the in the, in the master and all that stuff. And uh, on the glass of the showers and all. Water heater right here. We have a laundry room right here to the left. Pretty spacious, no sink in this one, but you, know, you have your dryer, washer right there, a little extra room right there. You could technically add a sink after. You have a sewer line right there. And then a shuffle on top. Okay. I love the 12 foot sliding door that they've added here in the back. But then what I do like about this floor plan is how open it feels and that L shape that it has right here. So you can do a formal living, a formal dining room right there, then another dining room over here, or you can turn that one into an office, seating area, flex room, whatever you want to make. 
with of it. We have a nice sliding door here going out to the backyard. Actually, let's finish off first the rear suite and then we'll go out to the back here, show you the views that it has in the back. So original price of this house, we're looking at somewhere around 660 estimated because they did add, a, I would say about 100,000 or more. I would say even more than this. I think because of the corner lot that it has and uh, the side yard and all, it's probably gonna be more than that, probably around 700. Look at that, they did also the full walk-in shower. Oh, nice. Look at that time. It's still missing the glass here. It's gonna have a glass panel. Really nice. We have a seat on that side and it's gonna have that dry area, dry off area. And then the two valves here that open the rainfall and the shower head. So missing the mirrors are there. And then you have right here your water closet. And last but not least, the walk-in closet. A lot of shelf, a lot of shelves here. So even though the closet is not the biggest I've seen, it still has a lot of room here for your clothes, for her clothes at least. All right. Yeah, really nice, really nice size owner suite too. Now going out to the back, the back here over here, it's not as, not that big. It does have a, um, included a luma wood covered patio. Okay. They have the sprayed stucco. This one is not the knockdown version. So I really like the way this one looks. And then pavers here in the your covered patio. Now the backyard here is pretty small. We have about 15 feet from the wall to the back of the house. And then nice mountain views here, man. I can see them. No neighbors that I can see in your backyard, really. So it feels very private out here. As you can see, this is my eye level right now feels very private because everybody else is a little bit lower here than, uh, than whoever will live in this house. Enough room even for a pool back here, but they have a side yard because this is a corner lot. Uh, the front of the house is facing south. So you'll get some nice shade here in the summer, especially with this covered patio, because the sun is gonna go up and down that way. As you can see right here, it's all shaded and it's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Really good size side yard. If you wanted to put a pool back here, that would be a great option as well. No neighbors that can really see into your backyard as you can see from here. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this house. How much would you pay for it? If you are interested in this home and you need a realtor to represent you and help you negotiate the price down, feel free to reach out to me. I have the connections that can help you uh, get into this house and uh, possibly get you the best price possible. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos, uh, video tour like these, uh, as I post pretty much a video almost every day. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next one.